the, the point that I wish to make most strongly is that behind a vital religious life for the West, there has to be faith which is not expressed in things to which you cling, in ideas, opinions to which you cling in a kind of desperation. Faith is the act of letting go and that must begin with letting go of God, let God go. It has become extremely plausible that this trip between the maternity ward and the crematorium is what there is to life. And we still have going into our common sense the 19th century myth which succeeded the ceramic myth in Western history. I call it the myth of the fully automatic model of the universe. Namely, that it's stupid. It's blind force, uh, Haeckel's uh, gyration or fortuitous congress of atoms is of the same vintage as Freud's libido, the blind surge of lust at the basis of human psychology. But when you consider this attitude, you know, what is the poetic counterpart of it? Man is a little germ that lives on an unimportant rock ball that revolves about an insignificant star on the outer edges of one of the smaller galaxies. God, what a put down that was. But on the other hand, if you think about that for a few minutes, I am absolutely amazed to discover myself on this rock ball rotating around a, a spherical fire. It's a very odd situation. And the more I look at things, I, I cannot get rid of the feeling that existence is quite weird. I know that, see, a philosopher is a sort of intellectual yokel who uh, <laughs> gawks at things that sensible people uh, take for granted. And sensible people, existence is nothing at all. I mean, it's just basic, just go on and do something. See, this is the current movement in philosophy. Logical analysis says you mustn't think about existence. It's a meaningless concept. Wonder is, is like, a, in, in modern philosophy, something you mustn't have. It's like enthusiasm in 18th century England. It's a very bad form. But you see, I don't know what question to ask when I wonder about the universe. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Because I cannot formulate the question that is my wonder. The moment my mouth opens to utter it, I suddenly find I'm talking nonsense. But that should not uh, prevent wonder from being the foundation of philosophy. Of, well, as Aristotle said, wonder is the beginning of philosophy. Because it strikes you that existence is very, very strange. And then more so when this so-called insignificant little creature has inside his skull a neurological contraption that is able to center itself in the midst of these incredible expansive galaxies and start measuring the whole thing. That is quite extraordinary. 